Welcome back to the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Raymond Wu. In this final segment, we will continue our conversation with Mr. David Lin, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs in Taiwan. Uh, Vice Minister, I understand that from your bio that you study international trade and commerce in college, but you ended up after graduation joining the Foreign Service. Can you share with us a little bit the reasons for you to join, decided to join the Foreign Service you know, after graduation? Uh, this is a very important uh, question for yeah. myself. Yes. Uh, because I've been in the uh, Foreign Service for more than 32 years now. Mm, okay. uh, so 32 years ago, uh, how did I start? Yeah. So actually, when I was in graduate school, mm. see, I was thinking, uh, how could I join uh, the government? So I took the uh, Foreign Service examination. Then, you see, I passed the examination, so I joined the, the Foreign Service. But more importantly, I would like to say that uh, diplomatic service or foreign service is not only a job. No. Actually, it's a career. Of course. So for those people who are interested, uh, they would have to consider, uh, say, in this line. And, and the other aspect is that when, when we talk about international relations, actually, actually economic issues have become a very important integral part you see, uh, international relations. Mm -hmm. So economic related issues, uh, including climate change, for mm -hmm. instance, these are all included now, uh, you see, as issues uh, to be dealt with by, uh, you see, the foreign diplomats. service officers. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is important uh, aspect. See, mm -hmm. We do not uh, focus only on political issues. Mm -hmm. We have to expand, uh, you see, uh, into other areas. So economic issues actually are very important. Mm -hmm. uh, for any country, uh, including Taiwan. Yeah, especially you know uh, for Taiwan, maybe yeah. uh, in the sense that you know, Taiwan's you know, international strength. One is of course of economic achievements in the last thirty years you know, from an export-oriented you know economy. Now today becoming a center of the world IT technology uh, advancement in you know uh, science and technology development certainly categorized you know Taiwan's economy today. And the other aspect is of course our diplom you know uh, uh, the democratic you know transformation, our democracy. You know, our you know, respect for human rights, our rule of law, uh, all these things, you know, for, you know, really something for other third world developing countries to emulate. And based on that, you know, experience that we have in Taiwan, of course, you also mentioned that, you know, uh, being a diplomatic officer, you know, uh, economic relations becoming a very stable part of our conduct of our you know foreign relations so the fact that, that you study you know international trade in college you know once you started foreign service you know that really will come in handy you know for some of the things that you had to deal with yeah that is very true at the same time yeah uh, the ministry of foreign affairs yes uh, also uh, provides you see a very intensive training okay uh, for our new um, junior officers, officers or cadets yes uh, so I think the training of course is also uh, very helpful yes yeah for indeed. all people who are interested in diplomatic service yeah and now actually in addition to the mm -hmm. intensive training uh, mm -hmm. in Taiwan mm -hmm. uh, the foreign ministry actually also provides opportunities uh, for our junior officers uh, to study and um, to be trained overseas. So they can go to different countries, not only to study language, but also uh, to, to know the environment, yeah. to know um, other countries. I think yeah. that is also important to facilitate, you see, uh, the, uh, the formation of diplomatic career, you see, for junior officers. Yeah, uh, but in addition to training they receive in classroom, uh, uh, now, where our international space is gradually, as you explained earlier, gradually being expanded, uh, our participation in international organizations has been elevated in the last few months. Certainly, there will be more opportunities for junior officers or incoming cadets you know, to have actual experiences participating in meetings, in uh, subgroups you know, for discussions and things. I think these, you know, was something maybe that was lacking, you know, 10, 15 years ago when we were experiencing, 
you know, uh, very difficult diplomatic circumstances. And uh, also, uh, Mr. Vice Minister, I understand that uh, you were uh, also studying at the Georgetown University's Foreign Service Program, and you received a master's degree uh, from the very you know, prominent uh, leading diplomatic training institution in the world. Can you share with us your experience at the Georgetown program you know, in terms of not only the training that you received in the classroom, but also in terms of the you know, friends, classmates that you made. You know, they may stay in their home countries, you know, uh, the diplomatic service. Are you still friends with them? Do you still keep correspondence? And also the fact that Georgetown, of course, is situated in Washington, D.C., uh, the capital of the United States, a very international city. Uh, some people say very political city, you know, very diplomatic city. Uh, can you also share with us that experience uh, while you were a student at Georgetown? Uh, I spent two years uh, yes. at the School of Foreign Service at Georgetown University. Uh, I still have very fond memories uh, about those two years. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say, um, to me, um, it's a very important uh, aspect in my long career. Uh, as you are saying, yeah, Washington is a very special place, mm -hmm. and Georgetown is a very special university. Mm -hmm. And especially for us in the diplomatic service, I think what is important is practical training. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we are all practitioners uh, in international relations. Our theories are very important, mm -hmm. but actual experiences are also important. Invaluable. So yes. in uh, the School of Foreign Service, so we have actually very good professors, including Madeleine Albright, for mm, instance. Yes. Yeah, Former I took US her Secretary course for State. one year. Yeah. So I really enjoyed that. It's a very good training for me. So mm -hmm. it's not only a kind of graduate research work, no. but it's a very good training yeah, for uh, people like me. I'm in the diplomatic service. Not only professors, we also have classmates mm. yeah, from different countries exactly. uh, having the same background. Mm -hmm. So that is very important. And then, of course, Washington is very important, too. Uh, we can have easy access to the Congress library, um, yeah. to Congress uh, here, uh, to yeah. the Senate, to the House, and to many of the think tanks um, yeah. in Washington. Uh, that is also a very uh, important aspect to reach out uh, to many different institutions so that we can get some real experience. So I think that has been very helpful uh, in my current work Mm -hmm. or in my whole career. Mm -hmm. So I would say that is a very valuable opportunity uh, for myself and also for some of my colleagues. Mm -hmm. I do hope that, you see, uh, uh, you see our young colleagues can uh, really um, utilize, can take advantage of this opportunity, yes. trying to get more mm -hmm. uh, you see, training opportunities, mm -hmm. uh, say, um, in uh, you see, uh, such universities like uh, yeah, George Georgetown. Town. Yes, and you also being our ambassador to uh, Grenada and also uh, St. Vincent as well as the trade you know, representative to Indonesia. Can you share with us your experiences in those different countries as the head of the diplomatic mission from Taiwan? Uh, my personal feeling is that here for uh, co my colleagues or for people working in the diplomatic service, mm -hmm. it's important uh, to spend some time uh, in countries with which we have diplomatic relations, Precisely. such as Grenada and St. Vincent. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's also important for us to spend some time uh, in big countries yeah, like the like United Indo States, uh, Indonesia. like Indonesia, yeah. uh, because you can really see the diversity uh, of cultures or diversity of environment mm -hmm. in those countries. Yes. So if we compare, say, St. Vincent, Grenada, and Indonesia, it's exactly the same because we have diplomatic relations with Grenada, with yes. St. Vincent. Yes. Then, you see, we have to do everything possible yes. uh, to, Solidify, promote, yeah. uh, to promote you see, mm. our cooperation, to promote uh, our relationship mm. yeah, with the Grenadian government, with the St. Vincent government. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have also tried to strengthen the Assam uh, cooperation projects, yeah, inc including agriculture, yeah. Uh, fishery and technical cooperation. Yes. Then Indonesia it would be different yeah. because it's a big country. See, we have to reach out you see, uh, to all different sectors of the society in order to Precisely. cement, in order to enhance mm -hmm. uh, substantial relations. We try to approach the government, uh, the parliament, uh, the think tanks, etc. Yeah. Yeah. So that is also very important. 
So those experiences are very, very valuable to you in terms of your career development. Yes, yes. not only for myself, I think also for many oh. of my colleagues. Officers That's important. Yes. Yes. They, they need to get more yes. uh, real-life experience, real-life training yeah. Yeah. Uh, in those countries. Uh, yeah. We do see um, some Ro mutual benefits. Yeah, Mr. Vice you know, Minister, we have about 30 seconds left. Any word of advice for our viewers who are watching our program who are interested in diplomatic service? Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, diplomatic service is a career. Yes, it's so not a job. We, it's not only a job. Yeah. We are hoping that there will be more people uh, who can join us. Yes. I remember, you see, I've met, uh, you see, our, uh, you see, a lady, um, yeah. golfer, the yeah. LPGA golfer, Yanni Zhen. Yes. I asked her, uh, see, wh what is the secret of her success? Yeah. She, she mentioned three things, hard yeah. work, confidence, and vision. So I think that is important. Yes. Yeah, we need to have a vision. Yes. Yeah, we need to build up our confidence. At the yes. same time, we have to work hard. Yes. Yeah, so for Most people yes. yeah, who would like to join the Foreign Service, yeah, we need to work hard yeah. in order to make more contributions to yeah. our country. Yeah, and I also think enthusiasm and yes. commitment are yes. also very important in this line of work. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice Minister, for being our special guest on the program. Uh, hopefully in the future we can have you back on Taiwan Outlook again. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, I really it's enjoy a pleasure. this yes. program. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time on Magaboo Television.